All right, check out this uh, copycat boat of the Phalon FT-12, I believe it is. Uh, they call this the TR-1200 Top Race. I think it's the same thing. A lot of you people bought it for $99, and I got suckered at $140 on Amazon about a week ago. Played, only, played with it a few times. Check out some other people's reviews on it. it seemed like a great boat for the dollar amount. Uh, I don't think I can go get anything better, especially uh, I don't want to afford to lose this thing for the amount of money I spent, so I'm like, screw it. If I sink it, break it, whatever. It's not a lot of money lost, so I didn't get too deeply involved. So far, I've been really, really happy. I just gotta find out how I can keep water out of the inside. Um, maybe I can put some kind of expander foam or some kind of foam in here I can pack in, even if it's a tiny bit, or maybe even inside, inside this lid or even somewhere, somewhere in there. Just so if this thing does fill up with enough water, it doesn't sink all the way to the bottom like people have been reporting. Uh, and that would be a good idea. So if someone knows what kind of foam I can cut in, or fill in there, that would be good. I looked everywhere I could in here to find out where the water leaks can be coming from. I checked everything pretty well. Everything seems to be sealed really good. Next thing to do, someone uh, mentioned, is take these screws off the top here and run a bead of silicone around this whole outer lip. So make sure I ain't coming in through there. I don't go in reverse unless I have to. So that shouldn't be sucking the water up through the prop drive like you're saying it does. Um, maybe this little water drain plug's pulling it in. I don't know. Uh, one of these hoses. Still don't know, we'll see. I did do the, the knife edge on the rudder. So that actually helped because the rudder comes with this like real blunt uh, edge on it to begin with. And steering was just average, I did that. It really cuts and turns real well now. So uh, that was a real good free mod. The next free mod is gonna be uh, replacing these plastic props that they give you with the copper proper I think someone had. That worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna see if I can find that somewhere. I don't have an idea which one's a direct fit uh, that goes on there. I did do the battery upgrade. This is what it gives you when it comes out of the box. So Amazon had a deal on a package of two. So I bought two of these. So I bumped it up some, for some more runtime, the 1800 to 2200, uh, 25C to 35C. There's still, still a 3S setup. Uh, gives me more runtime, gives me a little more punch. Works out good. Stock balance charger, yeah, everyone's gonna say it's garbage, but you know what, like I said, for some basic stuff that I'm doing, works fine. So I bought two more of these off Amazon, just charge those batteries. So this way I can charge all three at the same time. The controller is pretty basic. Uh, the only gripe I have is the trap door. I don't think the trap door is all that purposeful. It's kind of pain in the butt to do while you're actually using the boat and playing with it to make your adjustments, which definitely needs to be done. And they're very sensitive. You touch them, them knobs just a little bit, and it's just so, so so sensitive but uh other than that you know it's uh got a decent feel to it hasn't been eating up batteries so that's pretty good um the boat you now make it outfit some maybe leds some lights out so i could use it at dusk because sometimes the water is nice and smooth on, on my local ponds and lakes around here at nighttime or first thing in the morning so maybe i gotta do uh, like green led up front right out back just so i can see the direction and what's, what's doing kind of like i do with my drones if there is some other free or dirt, you know, really cheap mods that people can recommend, uh, please let me know and drop it in the comment. Let me know. I'm kind of, kind of interested. I want to know what else I can do that's kind of feasible. I'll spend a little bit of money on it, but I don't want to go crazy. I want to keep it nice and simple because knowing me, I'll probably lose it somewhere. Um, other than that, I really just want to find out where that water leak's coming from. Um, I go about part throttle somewhere and just cruising around, not doing anything and uh it hasn't been submarining and i don't go in reverse i'm still taking in water so like i said hopefully i can get some foam to go in there or if not maybe inside these lids i can pack in uh some foam so at least i'll keep it from sinking all the way down but for uh 140 dollars i mean it's not a bad deal at all if you guys can uh find it for 99 dollars with a coupon i think that'd be even better i mean it's a, it's a deal you can't beat so even if you don't even know how to play with these boats too well in your entry level yeah give it a shot See what the deal is. I kind of like it. We'll see where it goes. Anything faster uh, than what it goes already, I think will be uh, kind of hard to control. I notice this thing just rides up on a prop already at full tilt, and it's just skipping across the water like a rock. So I don't know what else you guys do to these things to make them so fast, because it's just hard to control such a small boat. Maybe if it was like a three-footer or something, it'd be a little bit better, but for what it is, it does the deal. Otherwise, that's it. Here's my corny little review, my little chat. Let me know. What you think? How else I can make it better? That's what I want to know. How can I make this thing better? Give me some tips. Thank you.